welcome back to Nails of Interest. Today I'm going to do Battle of the Matte Top Coats. These two in particular, the Accents Matte On, which is a wipe off, and the Models One that's not a wipe off. Also going to show you, a few people got a sneak peek on Instagram, how I did these nail arts. This is from Nailku's video, Anastasia and Nailku. This is from the video from Anastasia on Nailku's channel back in February. She did a cool art very similar to this. I've been trying to get a better matte top coat to make it work better for me. And we'll see today. This is just doing it with shiny. I didn't quite follow the directions well, so there's ridges. But I'll show you how to, today how to get these without ridges. And this is what the polish was to start with. This is my new Models 1 top coat. I'll show you how it applies to. But first, the battle of the top coats. This is what I used before. The accents met on. It is, you have to wipe this with alcohol after. So let's just see, you can see the bottle's even dusty. We'll just see which one looks better. For this, you need to leave it wet while you're working on it. So we'll just see which one works better while we're doing this. If you're doing a nail, I would suggest doing only one nail at a time. I got a little ahead of myself here. For this, you just need to find in my nail mail video back about February, I showed you the glitter dots. If you wanna purchase these, they're on Amazon. There's a link back there in my old video. Also, the Born Pretty store has tons of them. I'm gonna pick a few out and just get to it. I've chosen the number 10 from the collection and I'll do one in the Born Pretty store. Just using my Bowen Very Tiny Brush. And this is over the Models 1 Cocoa Black from the Traveler set. You can see I've used it a lot. These are the original Model 1 black polishes. And what you do is just pick out some random dots. Stick them right into the top coat, wherever you would like. Press it down. Wet your brush a little bit. And since this is still wet, you can move them, you can do whatever you want to them. Just going for a wide variety of colors. Done this on my own nails. It's quite a stunning look. Just digging in my pot for different colors. These have all different shapes or different sizes of each shape and each color. I'm just trying to get a wide variety out. I'll move them around in this moment. There's my color that was eluding me. More big dot.
can do this over any color you want. I just chose black because that's what she used. I've got dots everywhere now. These are more of a translucent mermaid color. I'm not sure how they're gonna show up. I use mostly big ones because they're so, so, so tiny. Once you get a little tuck coat on your brush, it's much easier to pick them up and place them. Again, just for aesthetics, I tend to like an odd number. I don't do quite as many on this nail. You can even make domino nails with these dots. So many cool things you can do with them. Okay, cure that according to your gel and your lamp's directions. While we're waiting on that to cure, I want to remind you that when you apply black polish, it is important to buff the nail because black is the hardest polish to stick. I want to show you this Models 1 base coat, how gorgeous it is. If you haven't met my flexi finger yet, here it is. This is my client, the flexi finger. Now this base does have a slight odor to it. Nothing unusual if you're, remember clean those sidewalls off. If you're used to polish, it's not nearly what a regular polish is. I'll swing that in the lamp, cure it for 30 seconds. See with this, I'm going to put another layer. This was the accents. I'm going to go ahead and mat it in again to secure those down. And believe it or not, this was only one coat of the Black Models 1 polish from the Traveler set. I'll put a link below to buy it. There's also a link on my video and I won the set. It's available on www.models1.net as well as Amazon. And this is the Models 1 top coat on this nail. Sorry about that. This is the more mermaid like dots. Forgot to show you, it came out of the lamp matte. But we'll show you up with this. You'll see it. again I got the base coat on it is sticky that is very good to have sticky seen a lot of questions on Amazon asking about some of the base coats that I love and there were quite a few people surprised when I responded well sticky is good that's what adheres your gels again with a black you want to make it super thin I like to put it mostly near the tip and then push my color into the cuticle area. You know, the sidewalls. I always call it cuticles like everybody else does. It's really the sidewalls. But you get it. The everyday term is. I'm gonna make this one a little thinner. Because my look on camera, it won't cure. With gels, you can just keep smoothing it out. Of course, if this was a real client, I would be using alcohol. But this is just my flexi finger. Okay, now you see how that come out of the lamp? This one from the Models 1 is already matte. Look at that. The accents is not met yet, but let me get out the alcohol and show you. Okay, for the ones that you need to wipe, you just simply, let me pull this out, wipe it. You may wish to put more than one coat on. This one is catching slightly. If I wipe it good enough, the dots will be matte already. 
It's not the polish coming off, that's from an earlier boo-boo I made. Now you can tell a slight difference between the two matte top coats. And this one you've really got to work. But this is a pro formula here. It does stay matte pretty well. I missed the, seem to have missed a spot there. So we can take care of that later. Now to get the raised effect, what you do is get out a shiny no wipe top coat. I mean, this is pretty cool as it is. I mean, I really do like it. I agree with Anastasia. If you add one more layer of matte top coat, it would look embedded right into your nails. These glitter dots get everywhere. It would look embedded right in there. So that's kind of my battle of the two top coats. You can pick which one you like the best. But onto the actual artwork. I got one of my She Modern palettes. I'm so used to the She Modern glitter. I'm not used to the glitter dots everywhere. I opened it up back in February. I still haven't got rid of them. Now I've got more. I was just getting rid of them all. I'm so, so used to the, the lovely packaging that She Modern's glitters come in. She just doesn't make glitter dots yet. And I bought these before I was aware of the company. And you can either use a brush, Anastasia used a brush, or you can use a dotting tool, your choice, just something very, very, very small. I believe I used a dotting tool the first time. And what you do is you apply the, the polish right onto the dot. Try not to go outside of the line. I'm going to have to pull this off separate. Getting close. Don't go over your matte top coat or, or you have ruined it. I found out that the hollow just never goes back hollow if once you make it matte. So keep that in mind. You may want to leave it shiny and just matte around it if you want a matte effect. I'm going to flash cure a little bit as I go. Just a couple seconds just to hold it in place so I don't go over, especially on the big ones because we're building up a layer of top coat. I'm gonna add more, you can't take off. Just a couple seconds, flash cure is all you need. Sorry for my shaky hands. Try to get it right up to that border though for the best effect. I'm just sticking it into my automated lamp a couple seconds. When you do it, try to get the very first layer all the way to the edge for the best results. It kind of flows right to the edge if you do it the first time. can be done. My hands weren't shaky today. So I haven't shown this before because my hands keep getting so shaky. Doctors don't know why I've got shaky hands. 
If you can tell why I've got shaky hands, leave me the, in the comments below. The doctor cannot figure out why I've got shaky hands. Oopsie. But you can wipe that off. I'm not one to edit out my mistakes. Y'all know that. Just get out the alcohol. Wipe the hold out off if you wish. You can go back and touch it up with the mat too. That's another good reason to flash cure. I've got enough off. Don't like that spot now. The small dots do take quite a steady hand. The big dots, not so much. You see me shaking. You can do it. If I can do the big dots, you can do the big dots. Small dots is a challenge. I'll try to brace my hand up a little bit more. I don't like this one. There we go. I know I can fix it with the top coat, but I don't want to. And just give that a full cure. I would say at least a minute. I'm going to the next. I mean, this is a cool effect right here. It feels like, looks like you encapsulated it. I'd probably do one more layer of matte top coat if I was going to leave it this way. Watch how it pops. Only Kate's a brief second to flash cure the big dots in. I swear it's not too much caffeine. That's not why I'm doing this. I had been caffeine free and it's still doing this. Every time I reach out of the screen, I'm just sticking it into my lamp. It's auto turning on, flash curing. Some people had advised me to start doing voiceovers, but to me, I just don't feel like that's me talking to my friends, doing my nails. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Do you like voiceovers, not like voiceovers? I could do a voiceover. I may do one in the future if my little feather babies don't cooperate and I keep having to cut my footage. They're right above me right now being very little good little babies. They're always right above me. I do have a product review video coming out where they holler the entire time. So there will be bird warnings up. Sometimes now I'm starting to just detach the audio and not the actual footage. So you'll see a couple of videos where my voice goes away. Drop the glitter dots. Gotta get that flash cured. If it starts running, flash cure it. I'm only doing a couple seconds too. I mean, if I can do it with these shaky hands, 
Everybody out there watching can do this. I'm currently going to be making up a really cool little nail rest that everybody's loving. They're asking this lady where she's getting it from. I keep telling them on her channel where it's from. It's a product. I'm just going to make one. I tell people how to make it all the time, so I'm just going to make one. Pretty soon you'll see me doing some crafts on here. So I can start giving them a link. They say, how do you make it? Well, I'll give them a link. I'm waiting on the hubby to buy me the correct paint for underneath. Most of you will know who I'm talking about. If not, you'll see. And I'll mention. Since the packaging is no longer available, I can't buy the packaging. I'm sure, it's on resale somewhere, but I'll just make one. Cost me a dollar so far. That's it. Oh, I've got to cure it. I'm sitting here holding it in the lamp to cure. Now, see, since I run over the edges right here with my glossy top coat, I'm just going to go back in and do that with a tiny, tiny brush. And this was the one we used the traditional wipe off one. My deflected little brush here. It's just to get the shine off the top coat. Patch in where I didn't get my polish on very good. That's all. Give it a cure. Now look when I pull this one out. The matte is automatically matte. The top is automatically shiny. These are all Model 1 products. Born Pretty Dots. I think that's quite a cool effect. And you're just noticing now that I think these might be the same dots that Anastasia used. Because hers color shifted from blue to green like these are. And from the profile, you can see that they're raised just like if they were gemstones. But a lot less packaging than gems. And you can make them as big as you want, as small as you want. You can leave them flat. If you, you know Braille, you could actually make Origin Braille on your nails. That would be a cool thing to do. Just as I'm touching it, I just love to touch it. It's just so pretty. So that's what the models won. See how the black polish went. This is the black polish that I'll be using from now on. I love it, love it, love it. See, it cured very well. It just does take two coats sometimes. Really, I can do it in one coat, but don't like to take chances with black. I love this flexi finger, by the way. I just love it, love it, love it. It swings right around into my nail lamp. Got my nail lamp raised. I swing it right around. These gels do cure in 30 seconds. Let's pull out the one with the accents top coat. Since it's a wipe, I have to wipe it off. Got to get my lint free wipe. There's just one extra step with the white top coats. Again, this is not the black polish. I wiped black polish off my finger earlier before filming. Give it a good wipe down if you have a tacky layer matte top coat. Let it dry. Uh oh. Sorry about that. I knocked off my Models One black top coat or black, black cocoa black polish on the floor. Luckily, I learned my lesson when I broke my CJS stamper. I do have a rug down here below me that's 
not worth much of anything but it still bounced off the rug and hit my tile floor. Luckily the box bottles are pretty durable. Oh, so I'd be crying right now. I'm already upset because it's so pretty. And I lost quite a bit of polish. I've got black all over me. Okay, enough of my mistake. Back to the nail art. These are the two I did right now in front of you. This is with, this is with the, we'll just say it. This is the brand of dots. Avalier, Alver, I don't know. It says nail powder, but they are dots. Sometimes you can find them under glitter. I looked up glitter dots, I believe, and that's what I got. And that's with that. This is with the Born Pretty Store one and with the Models One No Wipe Matte Top Coat from the set that I won off of Baby Girl Nails channel. She collabed with that set. That's the black that I'm using on these three. And I used the Models One Shiny on this just to see what it looked like shiny. Gotta tell you, I actually do like it matte better. I might even like it matte with the dots flat too, but this is really cool. I mean, look, especially the color shifting one. The Born Pretty ones are color shifting. The ones that look like mermaid scales. These ones were more of a glitter type to it. These were more of a mermaid scale. Can't find it now. Lost my dots. And they're more like this. They were see-through. I got dots everywhere. There we are. The ones that were sort of see-through, like mermaid scales, seem to work the best for me. These are more chrome in nature. I'm trying to get some light on the subject here. You can see the effect. From sideways, you won't get your hairs caught in here. Dirt won't get underneath. There's no, there won't be any lifting, no chipping. You won't have nothing to pick at them with. This one I didn't get a lot of top coat on, so it's flatter. It's all in what you want to do with your design. You could cover the entire nail with these. I love these little dots, they're cool. Both top coats seem to work pretty good. I've used this one a lot and used this one a lot. I'm trying to think if there's any textural differences. No, actually this one feels a little bit stronger. I don't know if you could understand me saying stronger about a polish. I mean, it's, you know, that matte feeling versus glossy. It feels more like that little velvety feeling, I guess you could say. This one's a little less velvety feeling. I forgot to wipe that off when I spilt my polish. Let's do that again. My personal opinion, I just like the no wipes better for this method because you don't have to clean around those dots at all. Once you've applied them, if you need to touch it up, but that's up to you, whatever you like better. These ones, I applied them on top of the cured top coat and they will stick. See how it's clinging to my nail there? I could, if you're a picker, you would pick them off. That's why you should put them into the uncured matte top coat or shiny top coat, whichever way you're gonna do it. Cause you can do it over shiny and leave it shiny. It's just a little bit cooler effect, I think. Just my personal opinion with the matte background. I have worn it like this. I just never shared it. Sorry about that. I'm really bad at sharing. I even forget to take pictures of my nails. Got one little green dot in there. You could do anything with these. These are cool. I like them. And let's check on my Flexi finger, black polish job. See the black polish cured, it was 30 seconds only. So 
sorry adding this back in um again this was with the models one with the born pretty dots this is with the accents wipe off top coat this is with the accents i did this off camera without making the dots raised i put the accents right over it under and over this was with the accents with the dots where i didn't put the, anything over it I didn't put it into the sticky layer. And this is just a shiny one. I went ahead and re-put the shiny layer on top. Give you how it would look shiny, but top coated. And it is a matte top coat. So as soon as I wipe it with alcohol, you will see the transformation. I figured I didn't show it to you in the flat form very well. Let's give it a good wipe with alcohol, high concentration alcohol. Mine is 99% rubbing alcohol. You know, the isopropyl rubbing alcohol you find in the drugstore under the first aid section. Give it a good wipe. Let it dry. And wherever I got the matte top coat properly, it's matted out. If I didn't get it, it's not matted out. So I need one more layer of top coat on this. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the models one so I don't have to wipe it off. Seems to be my favorite. I wish I could give you a sneak peek inside my nail lamp. This stuff is the bomb for matte top coats. And it stays matted as long as I've seen. I haven't worn them for weeks on end matted. They've been in my drawer forever and a day and it's still matted. Been bouncing around with all sorts of things. I lost like five or six of them. Never had a problem. So bouncing in a drawer full of nails. Nail art nails. I'm working on a couple of designs right now. They're a little more complex. I'm trying to get an easier version and a more, the more complex version I want to use. Some of the products are sold out. I didn't get it quite there, but it came out top coated, looking gorgeous. You can make like a scaly design with this. It looks gorgeous just as it is. I didn't get the top coat there good enough. Let's see if any of the other one from before, I can just wipe it off. Maybe that's affecting it. But don't you know? But it is all the way in there. It's like it's embedded into the nail polish. That is so cool too. It's flat, scaly looking. That is pretty cool. And the green ones look like they're glowing. That's just so cool. Come both ways. So this is the all shiny method. This was my mistake. and didn't put it into the matte top coat, but it still looks cool. This is just in the matte top coat with another matte top coat on top. This is the accents matte top coat with shiny models one no wipe on top this is the models one matte with the shiny models one top coat so a b c d e which one would you want to wear if you could pick your color i'll put that in the pole up up, up there the little eye there'll be a pole i'll call this glossy i'll call this flat matte I'll call this accents and models one. Let me know which one you actually like the best. I have no idea. I love them all. I love the design on this one. I love the flatness of this one. This one I'm not so much liking. I thought I would like it shiny, but they had something going there with the matte. Just quite the effect. Look, it, it looks like it's glowing in the dark. I assure you that is not glowing in the dark. That's cool. Again, thank you Anastasia from the Nail Coo channel for sharing this idea back in February. I've tried it. I love it. If you haven't checked out her channel, I urge you to. I don't know why she doesn't have like 20 million subscribers. It's so cool. Thank everybody for watching today. My shaky hands and all. Until next time, you be you, I'll be me. That's all we can be in this world. Bye-bye. Have a great day. 
See you next time.